Hey, what is going on guys? Lon here from Android Authority, and we were expecting to see two Galaxy S6s here at MWC 2015, and that is exactly what we got. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. The big news with Samsung's latest flagship offering is the Galaxy S6 and the S6 Edge is the move away from the plastic build material to a more premium look and feel. With an aluminum frame and glass back, these devices now offer the high-end quality that many have been wanting for a long time from Samsung. It's still a Samsung device though, so you do have the tactile home button up front, integrated with a fingerprint scanner, and flanked by capacitive back and recent app keys. The overall aesthetics will remind you of previous generations, only in a more refined body. Of course, like its namesake, the Note Edge, the Galaxy S6 Edge earns its name from a curved display edge. But unlike its larger sibling, there isn't just one, but rather both sides of the display featuring curved extensions. In terms of handling, the Edge will definitely take some getting used to, especially with it now being on both sides. But the comparatively smaller size of the S6 Edge will make it easier to hold onto the phone. Samsung finally made the much needed change in terms of build quality, but unfortunately this move wasn't without its compromises. For starters, the battery is now not replaceable, and secondly, micro SD expansion isn't available anymore. Both features that a lot of fans truly appreciated. And finally, because of how thin the device is, the camera module at the back does tend to stick out a little bit, which could be a problem when placing the device on a flat surface. It'll be interesting to see how fans react to these changes to accommodate the premium build quality, but as far as the look and feel in the hand goes, there's no denying that it's a big improvement. Save for the edges, things are mostly identical between the S6 and the S6 Edge. When it comes to the display, the Edge also features a 5.1 inch Super AMOLED display with a Quad HD resolution, resulting in an impressive pixel density of 577 PPI. As is always the case with Samsung displays, you get deep blacks, bright and vivid colors, great contrast, brightness, and viewing angles. Again, like the S6, the Edge iteration also packs an Exynos 7420 processor backed by three gigabytes of RAM. Samsung flagships are always on the cutting edge when it comes to power and things are no different this time around. Along with an improved experience on the software side of things, performance should be of no issue for this smartphone. In other hardware, you get either 32, 64, or 128 gigabytes of onboard storage, but as mentioned, it is not expandable any further. A full suite of connectivity options are available and making its way from the Galaxy S5 is the fingerprint scanner up front integrated into the physical home button, as well as the heart rate monitor which can be found next to the camera module. When it comes to the battery, the S6 Edge packs a rather small 2600mAh battery, but it's still bigger than the normal S6. While the battery capacity might result in some concerns, especially with it now powering a Quad HD display, the new Exynos processor is said to be quite frugal in its power consumption, so things might not actually be too bad when it comes to the battery life. While the battery is not removable, it does come with fast charging capabilities, with Samsung claiming that you can get up to 2 hours of video playback time back after charging the device for just 10 minutes. The S6 Edge now also supports wireless charging, and the great news is that with both the WPC and PMA standards supported, you don't have to worry about what charging pad you use. The Galaxy S6 Edge comes with a 16 megapixel rear facing camera with smart optical image stabilization and a 5 megapixel front facing camera with a 90 degree wide angle lens, which is great for all you selfie lovers out there. Some nice features available include a double tap on the home button to launch the camera app, which is claimed to happen in only 0.7 seconds. The rear camera has a new feature called tracking autofocus, which tracks moving objects in the frame such as moving cars or kids. The app comes with all the features we've come to expect with a revamped HDR mode as well. The new auto HDR mode now automatically turns itself on when the camera thinks it needs it. On the software front, the Galaxy S6 Edge is running Android 5.0 Lollipop out of the box with TouchWiz on top. TouchWiz looks just about the same from previous generations with only a few Lollipop related changes. 
The good news is that the number of pre-installed apps have been cut down drastically with users given the choice to install more if they want to. The curved display sides of the S6 Edge offer similar functionality to what you get on the Note Edge with a couple of useful additions. Firstly, you now have the ability to assign different colors to up to five contacts, and you can now know who is calling from the glowing edges, even when the phone is placed face down. The edges can also show you notifications like calls, texts, weather, social media feeds, and more. And there you have it for our hands-on of the Galaxy S6 Edge. There's definitely a lot more to come, so make sure you stay tuned for the rest of our Mobile World Congress 2015 coverage.